Okay, so I'm in my pajamas right now, trying to film this, and um, you can probably see my feet in my pajamas, but this is my new planner bag. I originally was in a really small, and I will link my um, video, original video, it was a small, it was about like this big, um, like shower, toiletries bag thing, but I've since moved into this huge bag. It's like a canvas tote and it has like canvasy straps. It's really nice. It's from, it's like French Bowl or something as the brand. It's at Target. It's a yoga bag technically. So it has all these little pouches. Now, if I was going any place like seriously, I might not bring this whole thing, but this is like to travel around if I were to go to a planner meetup or if I were to go like, I don't know, from planning the bed to planning downstairs. It just houses all of my stuff that I use regularly. And I do like that it has this pocket here that I could actually use this kind of as a purse or whatnot if I was taking this somewhere to be an actual planner bag for a meetup or a something. Um, I could put my planner in here because I only use a personal size. I could also probably fit my wallet and you know keys and things in this little pocket. So I'm trying to keep this pocket to be free so I can actually use this functionally here. Then I have these little binder rings. These are huge ones. I don't remember where I got these from, but they just have the Valentine's Day washi that I'm planning on using in this next month. And then if you look inside, it's really, really, really spacious. I also have washi tape on my pants. <laughs> so I have this set up the same sort of way I did my other planner bag, meaning that there's different things to take out. Like if I'm just going um, I don't know for a weekend or something and I want to bring my planner and plan or if I'm going like over the holidays like I did I just brought this guy here and he actually had these in him too but so I have multiple layers of I don't know what you would call it not functionality but like on the go portability so I have this uh, guy here and then I have my two little target accordion folders these two house my most used like icon stickers um, that I have and they will fit actually in this um, if I try hard enough and then this actually needs to go in my purse this is the forever 21 um, sort of on the go planning thing it was for makeup brushes but a lot of people purchased it to use for pins and notes and stuff. I actually have to put more stuff in here because I don't have a lot in it. So this is what is usually in my purse every day. And then this stays around with me in the house. So I also, I can't fit my sticker binder system is two of these three ring binders um, because I print and cut my own printables and things on eight and a half by 11 paper. Um, so they normally stay in there, but it's too, I guess it could fit, but it, it's starting to be too thick and it won't close. So if I know that I'm only going to be using certain things, I have these two folders here. Um, one is like a functional stuff and then one would be, this is just an example of the kit that I plan with this week. Um, like the weekly kit or something that I would be using. So I have these two folders that fit nicely in here and it doesn't cause it not to zip up. And then, like I said, my two Target um, accordion file folders. And then I have this guy that was my original planning thing, but now <laughs> I've got a lot in here. There's a pin. And then um, I guess I can show you the inside too. There's, um, I hope you can see like pockets and stuff and there's even a zipper pocket here that you can put stuff in and the lining is uh, like waterproof so I think that's pretty cool. Oh, some of my sticky notes fell out. Just throw them back in there. I have a pair of scissors and stuff in here and then this was my original, original very first Thing that I kept all my planning stuff in but now I just have the bigger accordion folders these have my bigger stickers that I purchased from Etsy shops and whatnot in there and then I also have this that uh, my friend Chris sent to me for my Mambi planner happy planner that I don't really use anymore but I just keep notes pages from various note target dollar spot notepads especially the this week one I kind of I really like those and then this is my favorite black and white to-do list so I just keep whatever I'm feeling in here so I can, so they stay nice and neat. I have different patterns and so I can feel, you know, inspired a little bit and they don't, I don't have to bring 16 different Target Dollar Spot notepads. And then I also have some page flags, various other page flags. This is one of my favorite things from the Target Dollar Spot. It's the gridded sort of check notepad. I have that one, I have this one, and then I have this one's got pink line on craft paper 
various sticky notes in here, other sticky notes, paper clips, page flaggy type of things, my Final Facts rulers if I need them, like I said, my bigger accordions. Then I have simple stories things in here, some Heidi Swap washi, some simple stories, sticky notes. I love these sticky notes. I bought, I actually have two of them because they went on clearance at Michael's. And then some simple stories paper tape, and then some from the Carpe Diem planner um, line, and then some regular stripes and circles and polka dots in here just for decorating if I need it. On the other side, whoops, I have some journaling cards. I hardly ever use them, but they're really inspiring, so sometimes I pull them out. Tweezers for a dog hair, tweezers for any stubborn sticker, placement, Heidi Swap, um, paper clips here, more Heidi Swap paper clips. Um, these little baggies, if I'm ever trimming up printable stickers like I used to and I had like sticker flakes everywhere, I would just store them in these little baggies. You can get them at the jewelry department of like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. And then I also have some label tags, a magnetic bookmark, and then this is an insert to a pin um, to make it a different color. So that's my like another sort of on the go I can take it with me kind of thing in there. These accordions like I said have a lot of icon stickers either that I've made or whoops icons and labels that I've made or have purchased. Um, same one with this one a lot of samplers, icons, things like that. And then this is a toiletry organizers as organizer as well. So it has three compartments. This one up here, I keep page flags. So like if I'm leaving, if I'm going somewhere, I will take this, put it in here and fold it up and just take it with me like that. Um, or I would consolidate these two. Sometimes if I have sticker books in here, it's not gonna fit. So this is the take it with me kind of one that I go to all the time. Um, so I would have this and then like maybe two, my two folders and be done with it if I am actually traveling somewhere. I would probably carry the same bag. I would just take out the bottom insert and because this is just a lot of like extra stuff that I don't really use all the time, I maybe I won't need, I can put, I can condense it into here and just go with it. So these are the page flags that I use all the time for pre-planning, blog planning, things like that. I have a pencil and my white jelly roll pen, mini scissors, a hole punch, and a gift card to cut washi with. And then in here, I just have sticky notes, um, other kind of the like Mambi, um, what do you call it? Stickers, icon, emoji stickers, sticky notes from the page, from the page like from the Target dollar spot. Um, like I said, these are my favorites. So I do have some in here so I can just grab this thing and go. Other to-do lists, these are from the Christmas collection, but I do love the check check mark ability <laughs> of them. So I have those in there. And this I actually got at Meyer on clearance and it's so helpful. Then in here, I can also put more washi rolls. I just threw this in here to show, you know, that you can put a bunch of different washi rolls, but I actually store my washi on these cards and I have a DIY on my blog on laminating only the bottom half of these cards and then using them to store your washi and wrapping them up. I think that's great to travel with so you don't have to bring like 16, you know, big old rolls of washi. And then I have my whiteout in here and this also fits sticker books. So these are all the Doris sticker books that I want to use in the coming months because it's going to be um, Valentine's Day. So I want to use these guys here. So then if I'm traveling, maybe I'll just stick one book in here and I can fit one of these guys in here. I'd have to consolidate it or just throw him in because it gets too much if you put both of them in. I might try and see if they'll fit both like this. I don't think they will. Then you have room for your whiteout and how compact your little washi samples are. And then you can just zip it up. Yeah, I don't think it's going to close because this can't reach. Yeah, it will close. Okay, so you can fit both of them in there like that. Then you have this all nice and good and you can just take this with you and you don't have to take this and this and this and all that stuff. So I'm actually going to take these out and put this back the way it was. And it's just, just nice to if, I don't know, 
you're going to a meetup or if you are traveling and you do want to bring all this stuff maybe you do maybe you have a lot of different planners that you use um, you know you can bring it all it's a great solution for that um, this I got at Meyer on clearance I believe you can find these kind of things at Target this I got off of Amazon it's called like a purse organizer or something and if you just need this I mean it's got little handles on it so you don't really have to um, you know worry about like picking it up and things falling off these do zip close closed zip closed if I can speak so you can have it like that I like to leave them open so I can get into the pockets and then it just fits in the bottom of the bag all nice and neat like that put these two guys in this guy sort of on top these guys on the side oh oh maybe I can't zip it okay maybe I can't zip it with these in there like this you can probably zip it with these in there like that yeah so and then it also has a pack a pack a pocket on the back that you're supposed to be able to put like a yoga mat through um, it doesn't, it just opens this way, like it doesn't fold completely out, so you could just use it as a regular pocket for something, you know, too, if you're traveling with it. So, I think it's a really cool thing. I think it's super neat. I love, 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 love this bag. I don't know if it would fit a laptop. It might fit a MacBook, like the smaller MacBooks. I'm not sure. I have a smaller MacBook, and then I have a big-ass Dell. So probably wouldn't fit the Dell. I'm really into like sleek computers, but my MacBook is like on its last leg for the past like three years. So I just have a backup computer just in case. So, so that is my planner bag. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe, you can find a whole bunch more videos on my blog or on my YouTube channel. And you can read my blog for planner things, crafty things, everything really. It's 516sblog.com. I'm also 516 on Instagram. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.